guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, gagawin ko ng review itong Maybelline Fit Me Matteless Poreless Foundation. I got mine in the shade 230 which is a natural buff and nakuha ko siya for I think 299 na sale siya nung nakaraan. So I got to have it while it's on sale. So etong shade na to I think it's a bit darker than my skin tone, so yun. And it's not a first impression review, guys, since I already filmed a review on this one, pero hindi ko siya gusto. Yung, hindi ko, kal hindi ko gusto yung kalalabasan ng video ko. So, um, I decided to film it again today. Packaging of this foundation is um, glass bottle siya, and then yung cup niya is a plastic black cap looks like this and the downside of this foundation is that wala siyang, spa, wala siyang spatula or wala siyang pump so if you're going to get a product inside of this bottle you have to um parang ilalagay niyo siya sa back of your hands or sa mixing plate kung meron kayong mixing plate parang nasasayang yung product whenever you pour at the back of your hands kasi hindi mo makakontrol yung dami ng amount na product na ilalagay mo. So, yun lang yung downside about this one. So, what I have on my face is just a moisturizer that I got from Watson's. Itong collagen na moisturizer. Yun lang. Tsaka brows and the tint. And this is my bare face. Pasensya, if it's oily, it's really hot in here although kakaligo ko lang guys so this is my face i'm looking at the the screen of my phone to see if i'm in frame so let's start with the review or with the application dito na side ang gagamitin ko is a paddle brush and then on this side naman i will be using my real techniques um fake version Kasi Real Techniques yung nakalagay niya. Pero I got it from Divisoria. So, it's fake. So, maglalagay tayo ng product dito sa ating kamay. Which is... Oh, tingnan nyo. May product siyang naiiwan dun sa kanyang lid. So, which I think is not that good. So, we'll apply the foundation with the sponge first. Kasi ito yung may ano na. By the way, my sponge is um, kinda wet, so let's test it out. <coughs> Be sure not to drag the foundation, just dab it on your face para hindi mag move yung foundation and it will look flawless on your skin so this is the side that has a foundation and as you guys can see hindi niya na cover yung aking pimples right here so we're going to add a little bit of product here sa ating chin area and blend it again if it covers no it will not cover so I think parang light to medium coverage lang nabibigay ng foundation na to. And the formulation pala is liquidy. It's so runny. So, if you're going to use a sponge for this formulation, for sure, ang dami niyang makukuhang product. Or, ang dami niyang masisip-sip na product. So, let's try it with a paddle brush this time. Like so, apply it with a paddle brush. This paddle brush I got it from Pretty Angel Shop, pero yung kiosk lang nila dun sa abrisa mo. I'm 
just using a mirror, a small size mirror. Kasi nawawala yung aking mirror, guys. So, <clears throat> ito na yung finish niya. Um, compared to this side, wala naman yung pinagkaiba. Like, this side applies a thin layer of as well, or thin to medium coverage as well as this side nakikita pa yung mga ugat ko and some blemishes also this side like I have pimple marks and then this one so we'll add a little bit of product magsa second layer tayo so for sure naman guys ha malinis yung kamay ko ngayon kasi kakalibo yung halang wala pa kong nawa so baka sa inyo hindi naman to ano so this is the second coat of the foundation using a sponge and I think nag medium coverage na siya talaga to mag build up to full coverage kasi if you're going to add a little bit of product again, yung mag third layer kayo, for sure makikip na itong product. So, I'll just add a little bit of product para sa aking left side, which is your right side guys. product dito sa aking forehead kasi na sasama siya sa aking mga hair hairs sa aking forehead so hindi ko siya pet so yan eto pa lang to 30 guys is not that yellow undertone parang may pagka-pinkish undertone siya so So I'm back. I already finished my face. Um, for the blush, I used the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. And then for my powder, I used the um, Nichido Final Powder in the shade Ivory Glow, which is the most late yellow undertone among the collection. And then for my brows, wait. For my brows, I use this and sun um, eyebrow duo in the shade medium brown. So, it's on the shade sa sun sun. And then for my lips, I use the KGM. I can't find the KGM, pero yung lip tint yung ginamit ko. I'll try to find it. Yes, this KGM lip and cheek stain that I got from Pesano and then um, I also put some um, concealer which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer I think gusto ko rin siyang review for you guys so yun, nilagay ko siya and the texture of this one is so creamy and I will update later if ano na yung ganap sa akin face it's now um, 2.30 in the afternoon looks like this. It's a 10 minutes advance. Kasi it's, oh, it's my strategy na para hindi ako malate. Or always na hindi ako malate. Pero yun lang. Sinat ko siya 10 minutes advance sa normal time or sa real time. So it's now 2.30 in the afternoon and I will get back to 
see you later sa aking first update. Bye! Hi guys! So, it's now 3.30 in the afternoon. And the foundation on my face looks pretty much the same. Ganiha sa eye. Kanina while putting the foundation. I changed my clothes pala kasi hindi ako comfortable sa sinuot ko kanina. So, yun. Ang mat niyang tingnan. Like, hindi ako nag-oil up. Kumain ako. Tapos, yun. It's been one hour on my face and still good. Update ako sa inyo mamaya if ever may changes ako makikita or mapapansin. So, See you next time. So, see you next time. Our next update, guys. Bye! Hi, guys! Real quick update. It's now 5 p.m. in the afternoon. 5 exact. Like 10 minutes advance yung reloko. So, it's now 5 p.m. in the afternoon and I have to go to church. So, I will give my final thoughts this time about this. Maybe Lynn fit me matte plus poreless foundation. So, yung um, time na bin, um, nilalik siya sa face ko, hindi naman siya gaanong, ay hindi naman siya masyadong nag-set agad sa aking face. So, ngayon, ang nafe-feel ko is um, super duper matte niya talaga. Like, hindi ako nag, sorry guys, hindi ako nag-oil up all throughout, um, I think mga 3 hours na nakalipas. So, wait lang. So, yun. Hindi nga ako nag-oil up using this foundation, pero note guys that I didn't do anything else rather than staying at my bed, scrolling at my cell phone sa Facebook, tsaka nag-live din ako kanina, and then yun lang yung ginawa ko guys, hindi ako pinagbawisan ngayon kasi hindi naman ako gumawa ng kung ano-ano, I'm just resting and now I'm preparing for church so, my thoughts about this foundation is that so yun nga, um ginawa ko ni mama kanina kasi uh, may inuto siya sa akin. So, my, fun, my final thoughts about this foundation, this maybe didn't fit me matas poreless, is okay siya if you're just going to stay inside. Like, um, if andun ka lang sa office, um, you're not in the field. Kasi hindi ko pa siya na-experience while wait, ah, hinihingan ako. Um, hindi ko pa siya na-experience outside. Like, before when I tested it, yung first use ko talaga nitong foundation. Nag-work lang din ako. So, I'm just in an air-conditioned room. So, hindi ko pa siya natatry um, doing something outside. So, hindi ko siya na-test kung ano yung longevity niya sa face. If ever, you're going to do an outside or outdoor activities. Like, if you have to go to the market or whatsoever. So, yun. In the camera, hindi niya siya mapapansin na nag-oxidize niya. Nag-oxidize talaga siya. But when I look into the mirror, nag-darken talaga yung yung foundation sa skin ko. Which is, I think, wrong yung ano talaga, um, shade na nakuha ko talaga. So, I have to put a little bit of lighter shades na foundation para mag-complement talaga siya sa skin tone ko. So, if you're going to buy this foundation, make sure na, par, um, I think, mga two shades lighter or one shade lighter kayo. Ang kukunin nyo na shade dito sa Fit Me, Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation kasi um, nag-oxidize siya. I don't know if nag-oxidize siya sa ibang skin type pero sa akin nag-oxidize siya ng bonggang-bongga. Pero hindi niya makikita sa sa screen ngayon kasi nga I'm facing a window so parang light yung complexion ko. Pero in reality nag-oxidize talaga siya but nonetheless um, andito pa din yung foundation. Nafe-feel ko pa din na andito siya sa aking skin and then yung blush ko andito pa din Yan. Ang retouch ko lang is my kilay kasi nga nag um nag online or nag live session ako kanina sa Facebook at then and then nag tutorial ako kung paano ko ginagawa yung kilay ko. So I erased my um brow products kanina and then nag retouch ako ng bonggang bongga sa brows and then sa aking lip tint naman nag retouch din ako kasi kumain ako ng lunch at saka snack. So all in all, nagustuhan ko yung longevity ng foundation na to kasi it's been 3 hours, and it is still on my face. And, yeah, since I'm working in an office, so wala akong magiging problema um, when it comes to using this one, kasi um, it will last 
long if you don't um ex if you if you're not going to expose to the sun so kung hindi ka magfi-field or whatsoever for sure mag uh, magla-last to all throughout the day kahit na magre-touch ka na lang ng powder and then para naman sa fit me concealer I can really tell na dito pa din siya. Hindi naman din, hindi naman yung nag-oxidize kasi concealer siya. So, yun. Yung foundation lang talaga yung nag-oxidize sa akin. So, I have to mix it with another lighter shades na foundation para mag-match talaga siya, siya sa skin ko. So, yun lang guys. Sorry, excuse me. I really have to <coughs> fix myself kasi pupunta po ka ng church. So, I hope um, naging helpful yung review ko about this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation kasi me also, I really wanted to um, take a look sa mga review first before purchasing. Ito nga lang, nagkamali ako sa pagbili ng shade. So, that's the real problem with this one. Pero if I got the lighter shade, for sure, magugustuhan ko talaga siya ng 100%. Kasi nga, yung long longevity niya sa face mo, hindi ka, nag hindi ka mag oil up dito if you're not that oily. So, ako, hindi naman ako nag-oil. Like, may, shin may shining, shimmer, splendid siyang effect kasi parang sa ano ko yan, sa aking naman tawag dito sa aking blush kasi meron siyang mga glitter glitter so I think that's just that as you can see hindi makita but yan may ano siya may shimmer siya so I think that's that sa aking cheeks so yun lang guys I hope naging helpful talaga tong video na to kahit hindi naman ako masyadong magaling mag review pero yun yung thoughts ko I'm a combination to normal ano ba tawag <laughs> yan ba tawag tama ba yun um, parang hindi naman ako masyadong oily Hindi na ako masyadong oily, guys. I'm more on to dry. Dry to combination yata ako. I don't know, pero sa na-observe ko, hindi ako nag-oil up. Hindi din nawala yung foundation ko. It's been 3 hours on my face and it's still there. Pero, yun nga. Dito ko na-end yung video kasi nga pupunta ko ng church. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope, um, panoodin niyo pa rin yung mga iba kong mga videos. And then, click the subscribe button down below. And also, the, uh, uh, bell button bang tawag yan? bell button para ma-notify kayo every time I uploaded a new video and watch out sa aking next review kasi I purchased another foundation so yan thank you so much guys for watching I hope you I hope to see you guys in my next video bye